An art thief known as Nemo shares the story of his childhood. When his teacher asked him what three things he would save from a fire, Nemo answered his cat, an ACDC record, and his sketchbook. Eventually the cat died, and he lost the record when he lent it to a friend that never returned it, but he still has the sketchbook because art is for keeps. In the city of New York, a helicopter drops Nemo on the roof of a very fancy penthouse, and he enters the apartment after cutting through security netting. Then he waits for his accomplice to give him the codes to disable the security system. Now Nemo has seven minutes to steal the expensive art that decorates the apartment, although his main goal is finding a famous self-portrait valued in millions. However, after searching around every room, Nemo is unable to find the self-portrait, so he decides to give up and leave with the available paintings. Unfortunately, his accomplice gives him the wrong code and this triggers the security system. Immediately an alarm begins ringing as all exits are automatically locked. A desperate Nemo tries to hit the window with a random decoration, but the glass is unbreakable, and pushing the door doesn't work either. Before the alarm can drive him crazy, Nemo grabs the screen from the wall and breaks it, however it only makes the air conditioner start malfunctioning. Next, Nemo drags some furniture around to climb on it and tear out all the cameras and sensors on the walls, which finally turns off the alarm. Nemo's following plan is to hit the front door with a blade in order to make a hole to escape. While he works, he starts feeling extremely hot, a consequence of the broken AC. Nemo goes to the kitchen, but neither the tap nor the burners are working. Then he checks the fridge, which has an AI that tells him what supplies are missing and plays Macarena if the door is left open for too long. After having a drink, Nemo returns to working on the door, sweating like crazy because the AC is making the room hotter every second. After lots of hitting, Nemo is devastated to find out the door has a metal plank under all the wood. He tries to contact his accomplice again through the walkie-talkie, but there's no answer, he's completely been abandoned. Knowing the owner is on vacation and won't come back soon, Nemo tries to get comfortable. He gets some vodka and food from the fridge and tries to watch TV, but it isn't working well because it's also connected to the broken system. By channel surfing, Nemo manages to find the security cameras, but since it's late at night the only one around is the receptionist. Afterward, Nemo goes to sleep on the main bed. The next morning, Nemo runs back to the living room when he hears a helicopter, but even when he approaches the window, he isn't seen. The heat is getting worse, and he opts for freshening up at the small pool that decorates the living room. His accomplice still won't answer his message, and the apartment's phone doesn't work either, so Nemo begins looking inside drawers for other options to no avail. When he relieves himself in the bathroom, he realizes he must live with the smell because the water isn't running there either. He tries throwing decorations at other windows, but those are unbreakable as well. Nemo takes a moment to think and when he looks up, he finally realizes there's a skylight on the ceiling. Immediately Nemo begins working on bringing furniture under the skylight to start putting together a scaffold, only stopping to take off layers of clothes and freshening up at the pool because the heat is getting worse. He tries drinking from the pool but the taste is too disgusting to tolerate. During a break, Nemo notices there's a small garden with sprinkles on it, so he uncovers the holes, but nothing comes out. He also checks the water in the fish tank, but the taste is too nasty to drink too. Getting desperate for a drink, Nemo takes the ice trays from the fridge and munches on every ice cube until there's nothing left. Then he goes back to work, using pieces of fabric from the furniture to hold the scaffold together. Little by little the structure grows, but when he tries it out, he still can't reach the skylight, so he has more work ahead of him. Nemo often takes breaks so his body can rest, and he spends those breaks sketching in a notebook and looking at the security cameras. One afternoon he notices a cleaning lady named Jasmine on the stairs and finds her very cute. Eventually Nemo has to ration the fridge food and turns to cans, only to discover there isn't a can opener in the house and he has to open them with a knife. When he cuts himself by accident, he has to clean the wound with pool water and use a piece of his t-shirt as a bandage. Sometimes the heat is too much to bear, so Nemo puts his head inside the fridge to lick at the leftover ice there and breathe colder air, having to endure Macarena all along. Sometime later, he manages to use a piece of furniture to open a locked door, discovering it's a pantry that grants him a few more food options, including meat. Suddenly he hears a noise and he runs to the garden, where he's happy to discover the sprinkles are working on a schedule. He drinks as much water as he can, then he just lays down on the dirt, letting the water refresh his tired body. The work on the scaffold keeps on going, and Nemo is forced to use his last options, like the curtains and the bed. This time he finally reaches the skylight and discovers it's embedded in the ceiling, so he'll have to figure something out. That night, he begins sketching the people he sees on the security cameras, with Jasmine always being his favorite. That evening, Jasmine has to clean the corridor outside Nemo's apartment, so when he notices this he rushes to the door to ask for help. Unfortunately Jasmine is listening to music on her headphones and can't hear him. After Jasmine leaves, Nemo discovers the AC is now malfunctioning in the opposite direction and the apartment is getting cold. Days pass and life in the building continues. Nemo begins sleeping on a pile of bed sheets because he broke the mattress, and he puts down a bunch of pots in the garden so the sprinkles fill them whenever they're turned on. Nemo's keeping himself busy with these little things, but he's also starting to lose his mind. 
One afternoon he even leaves the fridge open and begins dancing to tunes of Macarena, then he grabs the last jar of caviar and the last bottle of alcohol and enjoys them in the pool while still singing the song, almost feeling like a king. The next day, Nemo breaks a vase and uses the pieces together with some fabric to make protective goggles. Then he begins chipping the frame around the skylight, hoping this can be his escape. When it comes to food, things are getting complicated. Without water, the dishes are piling up, and without the burners, some things can't be cooked. To prepare the hard pasta, Nemo leaves it soaking in water for a whole day, which isn't exactly delicious but at least makes it edible. Sometimes Nemo also talks to himself while cooking. Watching the security cameras is also a daily hobby of this, and eventually Nemo learns the names and routines of every worker in the building, talking to them whenever he sees them on the screen. He also uses a telescope he found to spy on the neighbors and feel less alone. After working a lot on the skylight, Nemo discovers there are heavy bolts under the cement, so that's another problem for later. One morning, Nemo wakes up to discover sunlight is reflecting on a piece of the vase and marking a spot on the wall. He finds it so pretty that he decides to mark that spot. Sometime later, he finally finishes removing the cement frame from the skylight, but the bolts are still an obstacle. Starting to truly go crazy, Nemo notices a pigeon outside on the balcony and asks it to go looking for his friends to ask for help, but obviously the pigeon ignores him. Frustration taking the best of him, Nemo ends up grabbing a marker and doodling on a picture of the owner and his daughter. Later, he checks the closet to get warmer clothes and discovers there's a hidden passage behind a fake wall. He walks through the very narrow space and finds a secret room, only to freak out and run away when he sees a body. Once he calms down, he comes back and realizes it's just a doll representing the artist, because here is where the expensive self-portrait is hidden as well. On top of the doll, there's an antique collation of The Marriage of Heaven and Hell by William Blake, and Nemo takes it away together with the painting. One evening, Nemo notices Jasmine is taking a cigarette break outside his door, and this time she doesn't have the headphones on. Nemo runs to the door to hit it as he yells for help, but Jasmine doesn't hear him because she uses the vacuum to get rid of the smoke. The door is also very thick, and Nemo can't even pass a note under it. Later that night, Nemo has a very trippy dream. He sees himself as a very fancy guest at an art exhibition, and the apartment owner welcomes him with friendly chatter. Nemo freezes when he notices Jasmine is nearby, and things get awkward when the owner whispers something in her ear. Then the owner begins talking about art and puppets, making Nemo decides to leave because he feels out of place. The next day, Nemo uses wood from a chair to create a pseudo wrench in order to deal with the bolts. The wood immediately breaks, but Nemo keeps on trying, and by carving wrench after wrench, little by little he manages to turn the bolts. When food begins to be a problem, Nemo opts for eating the fish from the tank and the dog food. They both taste disgusting, but he forces himself to swallow anyway. The bathroom situation isn't any better, the toilet is so clogged that he starts relieving himself in the tub. Nemo also begins to draw on the wall where the mark the spot, creating a little altar to his situation with pretty yet disturbing art. Each time he manages to remove a bolt, he puts them on the altar as an ode to his hope of escaping. The insanity doesn't stop though, and Nemo begins talking to imaginary people more often, even having full conversations. One afternoon, Jasmine glances at a security camera, and Nemo's obsession makes him think she saw him. This inspires Nemo to eat the last piece of meat from the pantry. Then he makes a weird costume using a carpet and sits in front of the altar, making weird noises as if he was praying to commemorate the occasion. When he finally gets to remove the last bolt, Nemo slips and falls off the scaffold, breaking a leg in the process. He makes a splint to take care of it, but the pain makes his insanity worse, and now he starts seeing hallucinations, like fireworks over the city and Jasmine appearing in the room. Not even the hallucinations are nice to him though, Jasmine comes very closer and teases him by almost touching him but she disappears before actually doing so. The next time he checks himself in the mirror, Nemo discovers he's suffering from tooth decay and tries to take care of it with a nail. However he slips and falls, except his hallucinations make it seem like the artist has attacked him. When Nemo wakes up from his fall, he's looking at the ceiling and finally finds the answer to his problem. There's a smoke detector still active in the room. Using some book pages and a magnifying glass, he starts a fire on a bowl and creates a torch with a chair leg, then he puts it near the smoke detector. No alarm rings this time, but sprinkles start throwing water inside every room of the house. Nemo runs to the door in case anyone is coming, but the sprinkles are so strong that the system doesn't alert anyone of the situation. As the rooms begin filling with water, Nemo rushes to grab a few paintings and hide them under the stairs to protect them until the sprinklers finally stop. The next day, Nemo reads The Marriage of Heaven and Hell under the scaffold while a hallucination of the owner's daughter and dog stands on the balcony under the snow. Then he starts repeating I'm going to heaven on a hillside like a madman before he writes a message on the wall. He repeats art is for keeps and apologizes for all the destruction he created but clarifies it was necessary. Pointing out there's no creation without destruction, Nemo gets rid of a few pages of his notebook before he finally climbs the scaffold again, still singing I'm going to heaven on a hillside. Then he suddenly disappears from view and the room falls silent as the skylight is shown to be open, leaving it up to interpretation if he's escaped or fell and died.
Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.